I own a lot of Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances and in this video I'm going to attempt to rank all of them into a tier list. Le Beau, Le Parfum, this one for me is going into the B tier, but it's actually pretty close to being A tier. To me it smells like one of those, well my brother said it smells like one of those 7-Eleven Slurpees and I completely agree. It's extremely sweet, extremely fresh. This is actually probably better for the winter time, the parfum version. The Eau de Toilette though, for me, that would be like C tier and it does work better in the summer. But this is a perfect all year round signature. But I think it is actually the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance that works the best for younger guys because it's so sweet with that pineapple, coconut, tonka bean. It's really, really good. We'll go A tier. Have Le Mal Elixir, the newest one, yet honey, tobacco, lavender, a lot of vanilla. This one is too sweet for me. If it was up to me, I would put it in B tier, but I'm gonna try to put some objectivity into this video, and I'm gonna put it in A tier, because a lot of fragrance brands like YSL released some mid fragrances in 2023, but Jean-Paul Gaultier stepped it up and released something kinda cool, kinda innovative. There, It's got some pretty unique notes in there. It pulls compliments. It leaves like a crazy scent trail. My best friend took this from me, sprayed four times. He filled up every corner of every room. His girlfriend's dad actually complimented him on the fragrance. And for that, it deserves legendary status. I'm gonna put this in the A tier in front of Le Beau Le Parfum. Going back to the 1900s now with the original Le Mal, I'm gonna put this in the C tier and you can argue against the wall. I think this is the most objective, the most perfect rating for the original. It's sweet, it's sexy, but it's really, really old school. It smells like a barbershop trying to be cool, or it smells like a dad. It smells like a parent that's trying to be young again. The lavender is just too much, it's too overpowering, but the vanilla and tonka bean combination is still really good. Projection, longevity is average. It is the most affordable though. So if you want a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, but you're broke, this is a good option. C tier for the original. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Maille Le Parfum. This one is actually my favorite. It is going straight into the S tier, no debate, no discussion. This is probably the most hyped and people call it NPC on TikTok. I just don't care. I think it smells amazing. It's sweet, it's sexy, but then it has the powdery iris note, which gives it the class, the sophistication. To me, this is the one that can be worn by the most vast age group. I feel like between the ages of 16 and 40 could wear this. You know, like, it's just it's just awesome. And then projection is just perfect. It's not too overpowering like the male elixir can be in some situations. This is subtle enough where you can wear it in a lot more situations, like date nights, stuff like that. You won't overpower the person you're with, but then longevity, long, <laughs> longevity, it sticks on your skin. It sticks on my skin at least. I get 10 hours plus longevity, which is just awesome, man. This is S tier, no debate for me. It's the king of Jean-Paul Gaultier, and I can't picture them releasing a fragrance better than this. I don't think Paradise Gardens is gonna be better, is it? Probably not. What are your thoughts on that? I'm not really that hyped about it. Like the bottle does look cool though. Let's go to the next one. The final Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance that is being covered in this video is Ultramail. Probably the most iconic other than the original, thanks to Jeremy Fragrance calling it the clubbing beast, getting all that hype behind it. But that's pretty much what it like, that's, that's what it does best. Ugh. Super sweet, super loud, unrefined, bold, perfect for the younger crowd. The vanilla is super heavy on this one, but then you get the fruitiness from the pear note. It doesn't smell like pear, don't worry. It just smells like well-blended fruits. This one, in my opinion, is becoming slightly underrated, actually, with La Mela Parfum and La Mela Licks taking all the hype. And then with the introduction of Afnan 9PM, this one has kind of taken a back seat, but I still think it's a fantastic fragrance. I'm gonna put it, I don't think I put it in a tier yet, have I? We'll put it in the A tier. Ultramel for A tier, yeah. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the rankings. The bottom line is all of these fragrances are amazing, even the OG. I love the original. I have even more uh, double ups and backup bottles of these up there. You could just close your eyes and pick any one of these and you'd probably be a happy man as long as you have a sweet tooth because they're all very sweet. Let me know what you thought of the tier list. Uh, like, subscribe, etc. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. Jean-Paul Gaultier.